Okay guys, uh, we've got a problem. I can't figure out where I'm going to do this box opening. Um, because I've got roofers at my house right now and it's really, really loud in there. So I figured I'll just go find some beautiful place out in nature to do this box opening. I thought it could be really nice, but no, nature decided to uh, poop on that idea and it's raining. So um, I might actually have to do this box opening in my car, which is what I was really trying to avoid doing. But we'll see. I still have a few minutes to kill. I'm getting Dunkin' because coffee makes everything better. And I told my husband to text me in case the roofers leave since it's raining. And then maybe I'll be able to go home and film. But if not, we might be doing this in my car today. Uh, yeah. The last time I filmed in my car was when I was crying to all of you. If you guys remember that, the tears were a flowing. But let me tell you, this video is going to be full of joy and happiness because I've got a prototype baby by Jacqueline Kramer in this box. Uh, my first prototype ever. And not to mention, this is a baby on my top five reborn kits that I must have in my collection. So I'm really, really excited for this box opening. All right, you guys, uh, just sit tight. Let me figure out what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, we'll do this box opening in a, in a jiffy. Just, uh, just be patient with me, okay? All right, cool, bye. I mean, no, just hold on. <laughs> not working out I've driven to two places so far and this is one of them um, this is actually my favorite spot ever but you can hear a ton of construction down below and also there's a bunch of thunder that just happened so I'm like up high on a mountain and I really don't want to get electrocuted by thunder <clears throat> this view is amazing although I don't think let me see if I turn it around if you can get a better view. It's just gloomy today, so you can't really see the amazing view, but there's like a huge valley of like all these mountains down there. But I was thinking it'd be nice to like sit on one of these rocks and record my box opening, but I don't know. You can actually see all the rain pouring down out of those clouds. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it would be very smart to do my box opening here. So I don't know. The search, that's thunder. I'm gonna get electrocuted. So I'm gonna go back in my car and maybe find somewhere else. <laughs> okay, I was thinking maybe here, but no, you guys. I really don't want to film. But look at this gorgeous view. Isn't that so pretty? I wish I could film with that as a background, but that's private property. So I'm still trying to find a place that I can actually get away with filming a box opening at so yeah I think we're getting close though let's keep going okay guys I found the spot it's this place where you can like go on hikes because there's trails but I want to come down here by this pond <laughs> and film it's so pretty down here it's like a little hidden oasis maybe I can sit right at this picnic table. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Ah, <sighs> okay, this should be fun. It's so peaceful here. Just me all by myself. Yeah, son. Ooh. All right, now we got to get you set up. This is quite different than my usual videos, huh, guys? My hat says love your melon on it. And my daughter's name is Melody, and her nickname is Melon, so I thought this hat was really cute, and I had to get it. Okay, guys, are you excited to see who I got? All I brought in my purse is my trusty box opening knife. Oh, before I get into this, um, I purchased this baby secondhand, or pre-owned, from... Um, 
Sarah Perry over at Bundle B Art Dolls. She's another artist, so you guys should go check out her work. She also has an Instagram page and her personal Instagram for like her own personal collection, not her artist uh, reborn side, is my Bundle Bees, I think. So I'll link them, but you guys should go check out her Instagram. Oh, the sun's coming out. That's so nice. Alright, alright, okay. I'm like really excited right now. Before I go any further, you guys, today's box opening is a collab with Christina from the Reborn family. She also has a prototype Reborn baby box opening that is happening um, at 12 p.m., which is an hour after my video airs, then her video is going to air. So make sure that you go over to her channel and you watch her box opening of her prototype. And also, she's here in the live chat with y'all, as I'm sure you already noticed. And so am I. And then I will, too, also be live in the chat on her video for her box opening. And so will she. So thank you so much, Christina, for doing this with me. This is so fun. I'm so excited that we both got prototype babies. Okay, so let's get into it. Actually, I don't even know if this baby, what all this baby's doing. this here. I'm not letting my prototype get rained on. Also, this is like open. What if I got electrocuted? Because there's no trees and I'm like smack dab in the middle. And I don't want this to get rained on. So we're going to have to find a different spot. This is insane. I ain't risking it. Oh, whoa, there's so many dragonflies everywhere. You guys, there's like the craziest dragonfly sitting on the bench. Oh, he flew away. He has like crazy wings. Ah! a joke. This ain't a joke, y'all. Holy crap, that's so scary. Ah! I feel like I'm just running through the forest. What if there's like a bear or something? Oh my god, that'd be so scary. Because like, this is bear country. Okay. Ah! Oh, it's just a hawk. Alright, I'm safe at my car. For some reason, recording a video makes me feel like I'm not alone. So it's kind of comforting to have my video going. Because I literally feel like you guys are keeping me company. Otherwise I'd be so scared to be out here by myself. All right, let's go somewhere else. This is some serious baloney, guys. I can't believe I can't find anywhere decent. Um, I'm probably just end up doing it in my car. Okay, you guys. I don't know where I am. I'm just, I'm in the forest somewhere. I might go up there underneath that. I might also go over here. Because I see some benches. Might be a good shot next to this magnificent giant tree. All right, this is gonna be one of those videos that just has thunder in the background. But we're amongst the trees, so I feel a lot better. What? There's bricks in there. Look. What the heck? There's bricks in that tray. Okay guys, I think this will do. I'm not getting rained on, I'm not worried about thunder hitting me, and I'm not in my car, so this is just going to have to do. So without further ado, let's see this amazing baby. So this is a baby by Jacqueline Kramer, and I think it was a 2020 baby, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the, um, I'll have to look at the paperwork. Okay, so first we have this little bundle. Oh, we've got a little binky with 
this little uh, pacifier clip. All right, we've got some clothes in here. Oh, it's a Bambi outfit. You guys, Bambi is my favorite Disney movie. I've always loved Bambi ever since I was a little girl. And I have a thing for deer. And I love Bambi, so that's so cute. I'm going to love that. This is cute. I don't know what this material is called, but I do like this material. And it's a pretty blush color pink. Little tunic. That's cute. Oh, and we've got a H&M hot air balloon shirt, long sleeve shirt. That's cute. I have a thing for hot air balloons too. It's like on my bucket list to go to a hot air balloon festival. And they have some around here, so I need to go to one one day. This cute little onesie that says love you on it. That's cute. Another shirt. It's nice to get shirts because I always get either sleepers or onesies, but shirts are really useful to have because um, you always have so many pants laying around, or I do, so that's nice. This bib is cute, this polka dot bib. This will go with all her pink clothes. And this prototype was a boy at first, but I saw a girl, so I had her send her to me as a little girl, some pink socks. And this cute bow yay my first bow that has this little like tan or you know brown fabric i think that's so pretty she looks so cute in bows like this too i've already seen pictures of her that way it's so cute okay and then all those clothes came wrapped in this um what do you call these things what are these called I'm blinking, but they're like the little wrappers. Wrappers? <laughs> yeah, like a little candy bar wrapper. Well, kind of, but I mean, you wrap your baby up in this. Why am I blinking on what this is called? Whatever, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I see their paperwork. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can't wait to look at that. It's like a book. Well, first, let's see the baby. Let's see here. Okay, I'm so excited. I like how I'm just doing this in the woods all by myself. <laughs> so there's whales on this little blanket, and it's kind of a greenish color. It's really cute. All right, diaper on the head, good. Oh my gosh. Let's start at the feet. What is she holding? Okay. We'll see in a second. Hold on. I really just, I really care about getting a good shot, so. All right. There. Okay. This is a really cute outfit that she has on. Has little hearts on it. Oh, she's got a belly plate on her. I can feel that. That's so cute. All right. Let's take off the pants. Oh my. <gasps> what? That is one pink little baby. <laughs> Look at this leg. Look at this foot. Uh, red newborn skin tone, that's for sure. Yay! Oh my goodness. So her feet ha are definitely purple. They've got a... Why does her vinyl feel nice? Why? She doesn't have any beads in her feet. Huh. It's interesting. It's like, did they put polyfill in first and then beads? Because there's something up here. It's interesting. But usually the feet are pretty hard because there's they're packed full of glass beads. And then look at the nails. And she's got skin texturing all up on all up her legs. I see some veins. It's so cool to see like the work of some of the most successful artists. Let's see what she's holding in her arms. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it. She's holding it up here. Ah! <laughs> Aww, a little bunny. 
It's all bedazzled. Wow, I feel like this baby has really big hands. He's got two fingers. Babies love to suck on their two fingers like that, so that's really cute. Look at this red skin tone. Like, <laughs> oh, she's got chunky fingers. Belly plate. Can you guys guess which kit this is yet? Okay, she's got a diaper on her head, so. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this baby. I love when they come wrapped in their belly plates. It's so cute, like, oh, she's floppy. I love it. It just makes them look so chunky. I love, love, love their belly plates. I'm a huge fan of belly plates. So cute. Let's get down to business. It's time for her face reveal. What is on my eyebrow? I'm so excited. So far, so good. I think she looks absolutely beautiful. Already totally different from any of the other babies I have in my collection so far. And I love having that um, variety and seeing all different kinds of paint work is just so cool. I love seeing all the different styles and talent out there. All right, without further ado, you, me, together, let's do this. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Come here, let me see you. Yes. Wow. You guys. Oh my gosh. This little baby is so stunning. Oh my goodness. This baby has so much painted on Lanugo and Oh my goodness. It like looks like it's 3D. Like all this painted on Lanugo. Here, I'll take this off. This <laughs> little baby is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is so stinking precious. Yes. <laughs> so happy. You guys, look at this baby. Can you see? There we go. You see that baby's painted Lanugo? Like, look at it on its upper lip. <laughs> so, this is the Real Born Martin by Jacqueline Kramer. And it's one of the original prototypes. Can't remember what number. But this baby stole my heart. I just been staring at its photos like on Bountiful Baby when you go to Real Born Martin and you look at all the prototype pictures. I've just been staring at this baby's pictures on there. And it looks like he or she even has rooted Lanugo like on the forehead here and maybe on the eyebrow. Yeah. A little bit like near the eyebrows and like up on the forehead a little bit there's very slight rooted lanugo there you know what i should flip the camera around so you guys can see there we go now you've got a really good view of this baby you can see the milk dots on the sides of her nose and she even has some like in the corner of her eyelids she's got like one little baby pimple on her forehead. Oh my gosh. This baby is so cute, you guys. 
I'm so in love. My goodness. Look at her feet. She's precious. Let's pull up her shirt to show her a little. Tommy. Her little Tommy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow, I love this baby. She's so beautiful. I cannot believe that she's mine. My goodness. Thank you so much, Sarah. I'm so happy to have a Martin finally. You guys, do you remember how I almost got another prototype Martin? <laughs> I had almost bought a prototype Martin uh, by Elena Materna, but the seller was in Ireland, I think, and they couldn't or can't currently ship to the United States because of the pandemic. So I wasn't able to get him. And that was a little blondie Martin. But I love this little redhead. I love the red newborn skin tone. And if you look at the pictures of the real Martin baby, because the real born kits are actually a 3D scan of a real baby out there, the real Martin was a little redhead. And I just think that that's so amazing and so awesome. Because look at it. Now I have my own little Martin baby. Wow, you guys. I'm so... Oh, there's a belly button. I'm so in love. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. <laughs> Here's Martin's hair. And oh my gosh, this mohair is the softest mohair I've ever felt. <laughs> I can't wait to get you home so I can snuggle you and just admire you from the comfort of my own home. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I opened my new prototype. Oh wait, no, we have to, we have to look at your paperwork, silly goose. I always forget to film the paperwork, I don't know why. <laughs> it's a book. Look how cute. By Jackie's Little Honey Babies. That's Jacqueline Kramer's um, nursery. It says, Master Reborn Artist. Okay, so let's open this up and take a peek what's inside. Oh! Alright, first we've got the COA and look at that's the real Martin with his little red hair so cute yay yes he was born on April 15th 2020 so he's not that old oh my gosh these pictures <laughs> these are like my favorite photos <laughs> his little squish face yeah, okay, so we've got a ton. Oh, him in green, though. Cute, cute, cute. That's awesome. I love the artist photos for babies. They're, like, my favorite thing. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Yay. Little babe. Let's put that little bow on her, shall we? <laughs> so cute. Look it. <laughs> you are so cute with a bow on. My goodness. I've wanted Martin for so long, you guys. I just love her little, like, squished up face. Okay. Oh my gosh. You are so sweet. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I did another box opening. Make sure that you head on over to the Reborn Family's channel after this at 12 p.m. to catch their premiere of their prototype box opening. And I'll be there live in the chat with you and Christina. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you like this baby, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, guys, I love you all so much. Have a great day. Bye.